make your game go from looking like this to this. And I'm going to show you how to, so be sure to watch till the end of the video. Like Marceline, when she pop a beam and she rock with me, I pull up to the scene. She's a fiend, strawberry ice cream. Meet me at the tree and she asks, Are you scared of me? Yeah, I am. Alright, guys, welcome back to another video. Today it's going to be very easy and simple, just like all my other tutorial videos. You're going to want to go to this link right up here. I'm going to have a link for it down in the description. You're just going to download on this one. Alright, the second thing you want to do here, you want to go to this link right here, also linked down below. You're going to click on download, go from there. Alright, as you guys can see, I have this pulled up onto my desktop here. I got Visual V and Radiance V. First thing we're going to want to do, we want to find our 5M application data. So you're going to go to the bottom left, type in 5M, right click, open file location, do it again right here your application data you're gonna open that and then pause right here all right now that you got this pulled up we're just gonna go to citizen common data and here we are uh, as you can see I already have it installed but we're gonna go from here we're gonna open up visual V want to make sure you open it in WinRAR or whatever software you're using relation via mod pack and right here, this might be a little confusing for some, because uh, it's not a folder. What you want to do, you actually want to double click on this. And as you can see, it brings you to this now. Drag this onto the side. You're going to want to go to content, update RPF. Don't let this fool you. Go to update RPF right here with node number two. Common, data, and here you are. You can see all the same things that I already have in here. All you're going to want to do from here going to copy all of these, drag them over to your main game. Again, I already have them in, so I'm just going to replace. And there you go. Visual V is now installed. We're going to move on to the next part. All right, now we're going to be installing Radiant V. Just going to open this up. Radiant V. You're going to want to go to Visual Settings. Now, this is optional. You can go bright or very bright. I prefer very bright. Just looks nice. And from here, you have visual settings.dat which you can already have one here all this does is this just adds better lighting effects to the lights uh, and then you also have amber parking lights which i prefer they look nice especially with certain police vehicles so you're just gonna take these move them into your directory here again i'm gonna have to replace them and there you go simple as that it's installed let's get on into the game and i'll show you what it looks like Oh, my God. 